Hi, my name is Nick Manthai, and I work in professional development for teachers at Oxford University Press. And I've been teaching English and training teachers for the last 15 years. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about using songs and sing-alongs in the primary school classroom, particularly for online learning. And I thought of kind of talking you through it, but I thought maybe I should just kind of actually show you an example. And I think that would be the best way of explaining how you can incorporate this into your online teaching. So here's an example, and hopefully with this example, you can use it with other songs. The song I picked is Blue by Eiffel 65. And this was a pop song 22 years ago uh, that was semi-popular around the world. And I've included the lyrics. So what I've done is, yeah, I picked the song. Usually I would do this for like maybe a high A1 level class. Um, I think it's, it's easy, but not too easy. It's fun. Um, yeah, and so that's why I, I picked it. So first I found the song. And then with my students, I would ask, ask them, I would kind of show this. Uh, and say, you know, what words are difficult for you? What do you not understand, right? And they would probably find uh, a few words. I Hopefully the song does not have too many words that are unknown. That there's just a few uh, words, maybe 10% of the words are unknown, maybe 20%. And then we would kind of work on understanding that. So for instance, my students, uh, if I asked them, they would probably say these words are some words that they don't know, right? And then I would go about in some kind of form uh, with, with a PowerPoint presentation or with using realia of showing these words, right? And so they can kind of understand it. This last one, I'm blue. Do you guys know what that is? What that means? So I'm blue means to feel sad, right? Uh, we have some other funny expressions in English like to, uh, to turn red, turn red, uh, also to uh, see red, right? Uh, turn red means to be embarrassed, but seeing red means to be angry. What else do we have? To be yellow-bellied, have you heard that one? So that means if you're yellow-bellied, you have a yellow belly, it means you are easily scared, right? Uh, and another one, to turn green, right? to turn green, um, generally means to be sick. I, I feel really sick. I've turned green, right? Uh, so these are some unknown words I would go over with my students. And I also could, it's not just words, but maybe I'm looking at some kind of grammar rule for the day, and I could use the song to help me with grammar. Uh, what grammar do you think I could use from this song? So here are two things I've, I've found. So lives, sees, this is kind of third person uh, present tense, right? Um, so I have students that have problems with that and so that would be important to look at. Uh, also this idea of everybody, nobody, somebody, anybody, these indefinite pronouns, right? These could be uh, really good of seeing it in the song. So now I've talked to my students, we've kind of addressed the unknown words, maybe some grammar points, right? Uh, my next step would be to show the song in its entirety, right? So they would look through the lyrics, and then I would play the song with them, and they'd be kind of following along with the song. I would also ask them, what does this mean? What does it mean to you, right? In this song, everything is blue, and we've just learned that blue means to be sad. So if everything's blue, this guy thinks everything is boring, right? Everything is not enjoyable and he's not having a good time, right? All right, uh, from this, I would add actions, but I personally wouldn't add actions. I would have the students add actions. So I would say, all right, looking at this thing, what do you think we could do? What kind of actions can we do? And so then they would kind of tell their ideas, Maybe the students would vote on it, right? And so just kind of looking at this, I'm guessing my students would kind of pick some of these things, right? Listen up, maybe they would kind of cup their ear. Little, she can show little. Like him, I wonder, maybe they'd go like this. Little window, they would kind of do this. Corvette, they would drive a car. And I'm blue, they would kind of be sad, right? 
Um, and then we would play the songs and they would, they would stand up and they would have their webcams on and I could see them uh, moving around, doing the actions. I would also, I think the home, just like the classroom was a wonderful place uh, to use props, use costumes, use something. So maybe they could all get a microphone, so like a, like a wooden spoon, right? Uh, and this particular song has blue in it. So I would maybe ask them to have one blue toy or one blue thing uh, that whenever they hear blue, they can use it or maybe they dance around with it. So I got my daughter's toy. I got a blue little unicorn Pegasus kind of thing. Um, yeah, and so they could, you know, when you play this song the third time, they're moving, they're having a good time, they're up out of their seats, they're away from the screen, right? And they're, they're having a good time, right? Um, and then the last uh, thing I would do is probably do uh, a karaoke, right? Karaoke is where you have the music, but you don't hear the singer, right? You just see on the screen the words. Right. And so what I've done is, if you can see, I'm on YouTube here, and this is, I've typed in blue, the name of the song, and just write karaoke. And you'll find plenty of places where whatever song uh, that will have a karaoke version, right? Especially if it's a pop song. Right? And that's why you generally pick pop songs is because it is popular. Uh, most students are kind of clued into it. Uh, and there's a lot of more resources of those songs online, right? And so they get up, they do their karaoke, they're doing their actions, they're having a good time, right? Uh, this, generally, this takes me about a week, probably like four lessons. Um, so I would do maybe five minutes uh, of each lesson. So if you're teaching twice a week, so maybe one, you would concentrate on one song for two weeks. If you're teaching five lessons a week, uh, maybe just five minutes every day, right? And by doing this, you're, uh, you're doing a lot of repetition, you're looking at uh, the vocabulary, you're looking at the grammar, you're looking at pronunciation, you're embodying, when you're doing the actions, you're embodying uh, these words and the meanings of them, right? And there's a lot of good things with this, right? Um, and then just having them dance, right? They're laughing, they're having fun, right? Uh, and that is really good. It's not a particularly funny time right now, uh, but some fun and laughter would actually be good for us, right? Uh, get some kind of, get us out of our blue mood, right? Um, yeah, these are some ideas I have, uh, and hopefully you can incorporate these. So it's not just for this song, Blue, it could be for any song at all. Uh, include actions, have a laugh, have a good time with it, do it several times, just doing it once is not enough, right? You need to kind of do it again and again. Just like anything in language learning, you need to see the words uh, again and again, right? And then finding good songs, um, yeah, just kind of think, think about your generation, think about older generations. You could also ask students right now what they're interested in. I generally find that first and second graders, they like the cartoon kind of things that are kind of like they're about colors or about animals and you know that's really nice um for maybe fourth fifth and sixth grade they all like a lot more pop songs right and i go with that i kind of find what the students like and go with that because that is where you'll have your greatest impact if the students already are interested in the song then being able to exploit that is absolutely wonderful right there is another place you could find good songs, and that is at our YouTube channel, Oxford University Press ELT. And if you just type in the search engine, you can type in sing along, a bunch of uh, videos come up. And these are great, these are some nice songs, and then you have the lyrics playing at the bottom of these, right? Um, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Uh, you can visit our website, uh, Learn at Home. Uh, on an oup.com slash ELT website with, for more resources. And yeah, good luck with you guys. Experiment, have fun, and I think this will be something motivating, something fun for the students, right? Um, yeah, have a good time. Thank you.